Public Library's virtual story time. First, we're going to do our hello song. Hello, how do you do? It's good to be with you. Hello, how do you do? It's good to be with you. Hello, how do you do? It's good to be with you. It's good to be, it's good to be with you. Yes, you. <laughs> Today we're going to be reading Marigold Bakes a Cake by Mike Malbro. Marigold Bakes a Cake. Marigold liked everything just so. His fur was always well groomed. His calendar was well sorted in advance. Mondays were Marigold's favorite. Because Mondays were for baking, and Marigold loved to bake. Alone. No distractions, no exceptions. This particular Monday, Marigold wanted to bake a cake that was absolutely fur-shreddingly fabulous. He had plenty of ideas, but it had to be perfect. With his snazziest recipes sorted, snipped, and clipped for their most exquisite bits, Marigold was ready to begin. First, he separated three egg whites and whipped them up in a large mixing bowl. Easy. Next, he added a cup of milk. Peasy. Followed by the juice of a lemon. Squeezy. Then Marigold sprinkled in just a pinch of finch. Hmm, that's not right, said Marigold. Shoo, Mr. Finch, Marigold said. I have no time to chase you today. It's Monday, after all, and Mondays are for baking. Marigold politely showed Mr. Finch to the door. He returned to his recipe only slightly frustrated. He shaved chocolate ribbons with the utmost care and drizzled the batter with three swirling spoonfuls of rich molasses before tossing in a smidgen of pigeons? That definitely isn't right, said Marigold. Marigold's tail went all poofy. A brief chase was in order. Ski daddle. There's no room in my Monday for a pesky pigeon. Marigold returned to his masterpiece a bit more frazzled than before. Crafting buttercream pillars and fondant flowers had a calming effect. He began to hum a little tune before mixing in three tablespoons of loons? Loons? No. With ears pinned back and eyes wide, Marigold leaped about the kitchen in a full feline frenzy. me -yarg! However, his tantrum only made his guests giggle and left his cake rather less than perfect. Marigold was full of fuss, perhaps a walk through Brighton spirits. Baking was for the birds, he grumbled as he shut the door. Boy, was he wrong about that. Baking wasn't for the birds at all, but at least they tried. And Marigold recognized a love of cake making when he saw it. So he thought that baking wasn't for the birds, then maybe he could teach them. He was wrong about that too. The end. This book is available for checkout at the library. Now readers, it is time to say goodbye. Goodbye readers, goodbye readers, goodbye readers, it's time to say goodbye, goodbye.